Get ready. It's time. Christina, Catherine, Lisa, Amy, and Lauren. Welcome to the Cimarelli Podcast. Hey, I'm Christina. I'm Catherine. I'm Amy. I'm Lauren. And, and we're Cimarelli. Welcome back to the Cimarelli Podcast. I wish I was Lisa in that moment. I can't do it like she does. <sighs> nice. But hey, welcome back. <laughs> this is episode 160 because I just heard it said out loud. And we're here today, guys, to take you behind the scenes of our lives at uh, work. Not really my own personal life, you know. You don't need to know about a week in my life. But we're doing a week in our lives at work. What we actually do. <laughs> yeah, what we actually do. Because I think we, def- we definitely get asked that individually by people we know in real mm-hmm. life. They're yeah. like, what do you All do? All the time. Like, they're just confusing. And we had a question on the internet a lot, too. So we're here today to tell you guys what we actually do. Yeah, I think it'll be a cool episode. Yeah, I mm-hmm. don't really know uh, what's... Because there's so What's every week coming? is so different. I mean, it's not that. Well, yeah, it's not that some different. Themes. Okay, yeah, you're right, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I think it's not. NBM, that different. NBM. One week we join the circus. I'm sure. One week we join the circus. Yes. No, so there, there is variety, doing. but there is. Yeah. That's what we're doing today. So we'll start with our highs and lows. Here's our highs and our lows. Mine is very medius to greedius. Who made that? Simple. Lisa? Oh yeah, the medius to greedius. <laughs> That's a very beginning of our podcast inside joke. Am I the neediest? To which is weird because yes. I feel like needy and greedy isn't that similar? No, that's the, that's the problem. It's the I think. haves and the have nots. No. What, what? Greedy, needy. <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> no, because right, neediest to greediest. <laughs> Both of those things, you're like, I need, I need. I no, need but like sex. needy is like alms to the poor, and greedy is like can't give you because I'm greedy with my money. I feel like that's more stingy. For some okay, reason, whatever. I was thinking whatever. like <laughs> needy, like that's when people call their like. Boyfriend or whatever, needy. Oh. But that was not it, is oh. it? I don't no, know. Who knows what it oh. is? It's, All right. Who's the neediest? Start. Um, mine's pretty simple. <laughs> I will be the neediest today. Um, I have been <coughs> driving my dad's truck around for like a week. And it's been the highlight of my life. No, it's been literally the best week ever because oh of that. Oh, my gosh. Because uh, I'm deciding if I'm going to buy it, which I'm looking – heavily towards yes and my low is that i'm forced to give it back Mm -hmm. so that's the low is that because you're used to walking around four foot ten and then you're in this truck and it's like you have this big presence that you didn't have yes Mm -hmm. well one it's really easy to see everything i see like i feel like i can see the whole yes you can see it it's for some reason it doesn't feel like super giant to me even though it's pretty big and it's a bigger presence Yes, and my mother was laughing. She's like, it's like when short guys buy really huge trucks. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it really activates the chihuahua complex. Well, it I makes inside. sense. I mean, if you're seeing the whole world at 410, you get this opportunity to be above everyone. Yes. It just see, feels powerful driving You can a truck. look down at everyone. It's yes. great. I love <laughs> it. And people respect you on the road. They, they do. do. They get out of the way. And I need respect because I'm too <laughs> scared, scared to not be respected. Yeah. So I yeah, that works. We'll see. My insurance agent said it would be less to insure than my other car. So who knows? It's a who win. Knows? Respect and yeah. less insurance money. Yeah. So we'll see. But I think the math will math. I think it will. Okay. Give Pythagorean theorem. Oh my gosh. Um, right, okay. <laughs> um, my low was that I literally slept <sighs> two hours the other Ooh. night. Oh, Yikes. that's horrible. Because I got on a flight. And that I got terrible. home late and I slept for two hours and then flew. And I slept like 20 minutes on the plane, lol. That ain't right. But then I slept later, so it was okay. But it was just like, I don't really do sleep deprivation. <laughs> yeah, it's not So good. it was, yeah, that's not really but it was actually less bad than I thought it was going to be. So I was like, mm, okay. I was like, mm, it's like a glimpse into motherhood, <laughs> like incremental <laughs> sleeping. Um, <laughs> That was my low, though. That was too much. Um, my high was um, we filmed a music video mm-hmm. last week. Even though it was very intense, it was still enjoyable. I enjoyed it a lot. Mm. Okay, that's my high, too, so I'll just start. <laughs> my high is the huge project we worked on, which is the video and oh, yeah. other stuff kind of with it. It's all a giant project together. There's a lot of stuff together, so... 
That was my high is that it came together even better than I expected. I was hoping for something absolutely incredible, but I was like, is this realistic? And then it turned out better. Whoa. Than I was that's picturing. shocking. So that was my high. I was like, oh, thank goodness. It's <laughs> over. And also it's better than I thought. So I, I was really happy because I was really nervous about shooting it. I was like, is it just me though? Did it feel like it was also smoother than normal? I feel like it went. What was very normal? Smooth. When's the last time? Well, we did I feel like a lot of videos we've, we've done, it feels kind of like, like, oh, we gotta go here and we're behind. It was the most. This one was like everything was just the most rolled, rolled, planned rolled. out. That's how it felt. It Maybe was the most it. detailed, most planned out thing we've we've done in a long. Yeah, it time. felt like a smooth yeah. roller, just rolling. So that along. was good. Anyway, that was great. Loved it. It was just it's just shooting. Okay, shooting a project I feel like is the most nerve wracking because it's like. You can only do so much if you don't shoot something that's that good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you really need to, it's got to be good. It's you know? got to give. It's got to be good. So, anyway, it was really good. <laughs> and what was my low? My low was that. Oh, just like the 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 overwhelm, the classic mm. overwhelm, you know? That'll get you. It was just because we were doing such a big project, I didn't have enough time to do my usual routines and mm. processing emotions and everything. So, it was all like piling up. And then it just made the days a lot more difficult than they had to be because they were, I was so behind on processing things I didn't want to process. Ugh, That's difficult. So, yeah. Good week. Wild week. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> um, okay. My, um, my low was um, my – it's weird, my mental health. But I don't actually really feel that bad right now. But I think Good. a lot of times when I'm doing that, I don't feel bad. <laughs> oh, because I'm like, too. you know what? I don't want to think about it. I'm good, but uh, <laughs> I can always tell that my mental health is tanking because I get like I think I already have social anxiety, but I get way more social anxiety. Oh. Like oh, so nervous to see people. What if I say something weird? What if I talk too much and then I end up sitting there silently Aww. and I'm like, I'm not an introvert. What am I doing? Mm. But I don't want to talk because I don't want to talk too much. And it's just like I overthink mm. everything. So I was like, Yeah, my mental health's not great. I think it was just some triggering things happen lately, and I think mm -hmm. that I'll just kind of. It'll yeah, be. but I also I can tell because I haven't been sleeping very well. I've been like jolting awake every night, like mm. multiple times. Like, <laughs> but that and I'll be like, oh my gosh, time to get up. Oh, it's four in the morning. I like Ugh. this shirt though. Thank you. It's cute. Called to surf. I like the shirt boutique. though. Love them. <laughs> um, thank you. Yeah, I like the shirt too. I'm trying to wear more colors. Really cute. Um. Oh wow. So yeah, the goal that recently is like I gotta wear more colors. Yeah, I feel like for I've mentioned season? that a hundred times. No, just in well for the warm weather. So all of spring and all of summer for I'm the trying new to wear year? more color. Or just yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll bring it into winter. In winter and fall, I always there wear are many like ways to hunter wear color. green and rust. I guess those are colors. You do wear a lot of colors in the winter and fall. Yeah, but I feel like I wear a lot of pastels and neutrals in general, and I'm wanting to go more bright, like yes. actual bright colors. I so yeah, I love it. Yeah, and then my high was <laughs> I'll call it um fun mom rise. So <laughs> I really like I don't know what I don't know what's wrong with me, but I think my fun side just kind of. Like fell asleep for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. I, I I do know what happened. The pandemic. Um, I had mono. I was pregnant with twins. I yeah. had twins. I was caring for twins. There was just not a lot of space for fun. Yeah. There was space for survival. Yeah. yeah, there wasn't space for thriving. Mm -hmm. So I really feel like I'm getting out of survival mode, and I'm coming into mm, like it. my fun survival mom. mode. And I gotta Ooh. say, like. I always think, I think I knew I would be a fun mom, but I really <laughs> feel like I am in my element when I'm doing Ooh. something fun with my sons or thinking of a fun idea or like right now I'm planning a beach trip with them and I'm like living. I'm like, oh, all these stuff. I'm watching videos of the beach, like beaches there and places to go. I don't know. I just like thrive off of fun and like doing fun things and planning fun things. So, and last week we went to like the museum and the farmer's market and I don't know. I'm just like, oh, this is great. I got this every weekend. This is great. So I'm just really enjoying taking my son's fun places. I'm really living my best life. I always do stuff with Barrett, and then I'm like, you know what? I am a fun mom. You are a fun <laughs> mom. I always do all these things. I'm like, I am such a fun You're mom. You're a fun mom because- I got this fun thing. We did this fun thing, whatever. I know that because when we were teenagers, Christina was like the fun facilitator. I know. And she thought of so many, like, not just fun, but like very creative. Okay, I have to tell you <laughs> yeah. guys a quick idea really quick, because this will brighten your day, I swear, when you're listening. I saw this on an Instagram account. I think it's called This Is Like Magic. And it was talking about like family what? traditions and fun things. And I'm <sighs> like, this is literally going to be me when my sons are a little older. This dad apparently would take his kids like when they were younger, once a month on a Saturday and go buy like 
six boxes of a dozen donuts. And then he would go to random friends' houses and like just drop them off and ring the oh, doorbell and run away. Fine. And they call it like the donut express or the donut day oh, or something. Oh, that's fine. And I'm like, I am totally going to do like that. It's like booing with donuts. Yes. yes. I'm like, isn't that? that? That's like the type of stuff Christina would think to do. Drop oh, them yes. at my house. Okay. Yes. yes. No, I will. Drop I'm like, them at my who, house. Like, who doesn't want some donuts? And just you, like, that's Yeah. Great. First stop on the train. Yeah. Too I got to do the donut day. I love it. <laughs> Me too. Maybe I'll do it when they're little and they have no idea what's going on. I don't know. We'll yeah. see. <laughs> anyway, life is magical. You just got to live it. <laughs> no, Barrett so would love true. doing that at two and a half, so not that yeah. long. Yeah, no, not Barrett would love that. So guys, before we get to our main topic, telling you the secret life of Simmera. <laughs> it actually is a secret, but not um, really on purpose. Because you guys don't know. So it is a secret in a way. Before we get to that, I have to tell you that if you want to see all our full episodes, like last week's episode and the next week's episode, we only put half of those on YouTube. The full episode is on Patreon. If you want the full episode, you got to join our Patreon, which is linked in the description. It's only $5 a month. And there's different tiers for different amounts. But there's so much cool stuff on Patreon. We have Q&As with each of us every Monday. We have a patrons only live stream where we just sit there and chat with you guys and my new goal on that is to give some kind of like insider information Mm. every month in that live stream we have a birthday club where we sing happy birthday to you send you a video of that and all sorts of stuff there's lots of stuff you guys gotta check it out linked in the description Cimarelli Patreon, check it out. You may love it. And it is one of the best ways to support us. So we appreciate you guys so much, our patrons. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. You guys know what BetterHelp is, right? I feel like we all do at this point. Am I right? I knew it way long before they reached out to us because I've seen it everywhere because it is an amazing Thing. So we talk about therapy all the time, right? We've all seen therapists. I was like, hey, we've seen them. They've seen us. We've seen it all. Not really. We've we've seen we've all seen multiple therapists. We've seen over the many years. things. Okay, <laughs> we've all seen many things, and we we have talked about therapy for years and how important it is mm-hmm. and how much it's changed our lives. And something that is difficult about it is finding a therapist in the first place. I would have Kath's pretty good at trying to find it, but she has to go on this whole you know wild. Goose chase, is that what they call it? Yeah. On the internet and be like, therapist, search, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what she does. And she has to find someone. And then, you know, you got to like do a little consultation, see if they're even good, blah, 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 blah. You don't know if they're going to be the right fit for you. They even call you back. A lot All of times this they won't stuff. call you back. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What the heck? So there's an easier way and it's better help. You go, you fill out the questionnaire. We all checked it out and it kind of helps them figure out like what you're looking for, what you need. And then they match you with someone, see if this person's great for you. And guess what? If they're not match with someone else, you just find someone else. You don't have to go through the whole process of finding someone again. And also being like, Oh, by the way, I know we only did one session, but gotta go. You don't have to do that. It's a lot easier, more straightforward. They're right there for you. It's not a guarantee. You're going to find the perfect person the first time because that's never a guarantee with therapy. I can tell you myself because I've done this so many times in new seasons of life where my therapist isn't working anymore, trying to find someone new. It is a challenge to find someone oftentimes and you don't want to just give up. Really listen to me on this one. You do not want to give up if you have your first like bad experience with a therapist. That does not mean therapy is not for you. It could just mean this therapist is not the right one for you and you got to find someone else. So I highly encourage you to try out BetterHelp. I wouldn't just say if you need therapy, I would say everyone can use some therapy because we all need to talk to someone and like process what the heck is going on in our lives and our childhoods and all these different things. There's a lot, there are a lot of reasons why we all need therapy, I would say. So we do have a deal for you guys, which is if you go to betterhelp.com slash Cimarelli, you will get 10% off your first month. Betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Cimarelli. You want to try out therapy, you feel overwhelmed, you don't know how to start. This is how you can start and keep trying till you find that right therapist, no matter what you're doing in life, trying to find a therapist, whatever route you take, that's what you need to do. Just trust me on that. It is worth it. Find that person to help you out. It is so worth it. Betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Cimarelli. 10% off your first month. All right, ladies, it's time to was I peel say? back the curtain. It's time to give away the secret. I was like, what are we talking Reveal about? The truth. And then I remember. Secret Reveal formula. the truth. Okay, we're oh, going to tell yeah. you guys a work week in our lives. 
I wonder what people think it looks like versus what it actually looks mm-hmm. like. But I'll tell we you, just stand there and sing. Or comment something. below. I've had you many friends like. say like, "So what do you do? Like, do you just like record songs? Like, they, that's what they think we do all day. We do is so record many songs. Things. We do that, but it's not the whole thing." We're going to tell you now. So let me tell you a broader thing before I get into the actual week. So our weeks are themed at this point. It's something we've been doing in 2023, and I would say it works very well. So we have three categories. This is our current thing. It's probably going to shift and change. Actually, I hope it does because I'm hoping for a different schedule later in the future, but for now. We do two weeks a month that are shoot weeks, and we have to do about two YouTube videos and podcast shoot. Then we have one week that is a TikTok week and one week that is an original music week. It is an amazing schedule. So the the overall schedule I'm going to tell you, um, should we just tell for each of those different ones what it looks like? Yeah. It's not that or different. Not. It's the same um, structure. But, like, different content, basically. So, on Mondays, what do we do, ladies? We Zoom. We meet on Zoom, which is so nice. It's work from home We used to meet in person for, like, four million years every Monday. And then we started doing it on Zoom, and it just was so much easier for some reason. Honestly, it's a great way to ease into the work week. Work from home. Just, you don't have to put makeup on. We're not doing a shoot that day. Yeah. Nice. I think we found we were more productive on Zoom than we were. Way more. Because you can't just run your mouth. On Zoom, you guys know what I mean. Like on Zoom, I don't get you what. can't like conversate as well. You have to like wait to like hear and talk. Yeah. So you just say what you actually need to say. You're not true. like blah, 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 blah. I wouldn't have thought that was true. I would have thought it'd be the opposite, but that is what we found. We're more productive. So we do a four hour meeting together in the afternoon, but in the morning, um, Monday is when I like organize everything for like what the heck we're doing. And I, I have to look at like the overall vision of everything. I'm the one who has to have everything overall in my mind, working together. That is my main thing. And then I record basically every single Monday morning. It's one of the best days of the week to record for me. I get the most done, the best ideas, the best whatever. So I normally will record for about two to three hours on Monday mornings. And that's where I get some of my best work done. So it's recording for me. Um, what's Mondays for you, Lattice? It's funny because I'm the literal opposite. I <laughs> try to never do recording on Monday. Really? Because I want to get all of my like um editing? No, no, no. Like nothing where like with like on logic or music stuff. What? I try to not do that on Monday. I only want to do um what, what? is that what is that word? Administrative mm. things like email this person, do this, whatever things I have to do. I want to just like plan, 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 like get all of that stuff done, and then I can record and do whatever Tuesday, what? Wednesday, Thursday. I feel like I have the most energy of all time on Monday. Are you guys the same or no? Uh, no. Yes, which is why I want to do all yeah. of the administrative stuff so I can just go bam, 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 and then it's done for the week. I mm-hmm. need it for some reason for recording. Um, recording takes a lot of energy for me to like figure out what are we doing with this? I have to come up with something, mm-hmm. whatever. Okay, mm-hmm. that is interesting. I always thought everyone would record Monday, aka no. you, but that doesn't make sense. So yeah, I guess I do like, I don't I don't even know what I do. I do like merch stuff, like, oh, planning gotta email stuff? this, or like planning something, or like, oh, make a vision board for this, coming up with an idea for this or that. And you so, design the merch too. Yeah, designs. yeah, like that, all that stuff, that's what I try to do on Monday, so then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I don't need to really think about that, and I can just record or do whatever all, all morning. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, yeah. You people? Yeah, Monday definitely has the most time in the morning before because mm-hmm. we're not shooting, so I'm not, yeah. like, getting everything ready for the shoot, <clears throat> so that's when I'll do Patreon stuff. Um, there's a lot of different tasks for Patreon, and then... Um, I do, I write our monthly emails. So I write those and then I put them into like design them and put like pictures and stuff. And then um, that's not really not just a Monday thing, but like any like writing thing that's thrown at me, like they'll send me like a paragraph and be like, edit this for grammar or edit this in some way. (laughs) Or like, oh, we want you to write like this bio or this story thing or whatever, Mm -hmm. like our story. So I'll do a lot of writing stuff. Oh, that's kind of any day of the week, honestly. So that's that's what I mainly do. Yeah, I do just like, planning and like editing tiktok stuff usually and like sending things around amy also um, mails our um packages for I patreon do. and I do you do. have a lot of posting on monday or no amy i have a lot of the, posting every day she does the posting but what day is the most posting they are all pretty they're equal, equal? yeah oh, okay. huh. 
Yeah, I'm Who's posting all up and down the town. Amy's just post, post, post. Posting is probably the least favorite thing of my life, and I would probably just not post. So you got to have someone who will do it. Yeah, it's not bad. It's just like I got to buckle down and be like, post number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, She has ten. an extensive schedule for posting. It is. We went over the other day. It is extensive. It's very extensive, which makes me feel good because I'm like, I know where everything is. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's good to be organized. It's okay, great. so Tuesday. So let's say if we're in the YouTube week. So here's what we do in a YouTube week. So Tuesday, we normally would shoot, it doesn't matter. It's either podcast or YouTube video, okay? So we're going to shoot in the afternoon during those four hours normally um, for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Now, in the morning, we're getting ready, and I'm personally, me personally, I'm squeezing in any bit of recording that I possibly can. Since Lisa's not working right now, I have my job plus her job. So I watch the videos, give notes, and do basically all the harmony arrangements, and then sometimes producing a song and splitting it up and blah, blah, blah. So it is a lot of work doing hers as well. Oh, wow. Can't wait till she can do hers again. <laughs> and watching, you know, two children look like they have babies, you know, but I still have to take care. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So that was a lot. I get any recording I possibly can because I realize when I record, it moves us forward. Mm-hmm. That's my motto. When I record, <laughs> it moves us forward. It really yeah. does, though. Love to It does. That. So I try to do that as much as I can. Another place I get a lot of good work on is my walks every morning. I'll listen mm. to something I recorded or I'll just think and come up with something good and then bring that in. So that's kind of what all those mornings look like. I get ready and I squeeze in any recording I possibly can. And then, of course, I don't do my hair because I'm like, record or do hair. Record. And then I'm always like, man, I wish I did my hair. Mm. And then I'm like, yeah, but you wanted to record, so get what you get. So You need like a quick, easy thing. I know. I'm trying to figure out how I could find something that's quick. It's got to be like 10 minutes. Yeah. Honestly, I could do. Yeah, like an accessory thing or like, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of simple That's why I put it in a bun, which I don't want to do all the time. Mm. SMH. Okay. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, are they the same for you guys? They're pretty much the same for yeah. me normally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Except for I like no. record if I need to or like clean up here a lot. I do a lot of that. A lot of cleaning. Keeping this. A lot of recording. Our workspace in order. I try. To yeah. The only difference for me is that, well, I don't have a recording set up at my house like you guys all do. So if I'm recording something, I have to come to our studio and record mm-hmm. it. Um, and then... Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, if we are filming all three days, then I just have to wake up pretty early. Like, no, it's not that bad. It's like six to do my makeup and hair before my twins wake up. I realized it took me a while to realize that. And I was like, I can't do it when they're up. It's too stressful. (laughs) And like get all my stuff packed and outfits picked for the day. But sometimes I'll do the lunch like right before. But yeah. Yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm pretty much always recording or mixing. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Every day. And then what every day, bro. <laughs> what those days look like when we're here would be we shoot something and then we will often like meet before or after about something yeah. like, oh, we need to talk about the merch coming up or we need it because mm-hmm. we can only get so much done in our four hour meeting on Monday. We have so much to plan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's so many things we have to all talk about. Like, hey, guys, and, like, what do you think of this idea? things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I have to get TikToks approved and it's and, like merch designs process. approved. Like so we'll, locals. we'll be like, okay, we all need to watch these TikToks. Yeah, Maybe I'll I should like, just pull up. Let me pull up this week's and I'll just. Oh, yeah. And we have a shared guys. note. We have a bunch of shared notes. Which is really also. great. Oh, um, yeah. Of so the schedule. So then when Christina is like planning stuff, this or that, I can just check the shared note. Mm-hmm. And then I know. So here's what our shared note looks like. I'll tell you guys right now. It says band weekly schedule. So what we have is every single week for the next one, two, three, four, five six weeks it's like week of april 17th week of april 24th week of may 1st etc etc as my brother says and we write like what the theme is of each week across from it and then as something comes up to go in that future week we will put that in there and i'll add it to like the monday meeting list or i'll add it i'll normally add it to the monday meeting list if it's that far ahead like five weeks ahead i'm not going to be like oh that's on tuesday i'll just add like discuss this thing on monday whatever so i have I can see like, oh, May 8th is going to be Original Music Week. May 15th is going to be um, YouTube, podcast, whatever. So for this week, we have Tuesday, 
shoot the podcast, um, practice something that we need to practice, um, talk about this TikTok promo thing we're going to make that's nine TikToks, and then talk about some other TikToks we're going to shoot tomorrow. We kind of have to do a little planning for that. And then tomorrow we actually are doing a TikTok day. We had to like jumble our schedule up a little bit. So we had to add in a full TikTok day in our shoot week instead of the full TikTok week because scheduling things. So tomorrow we're doing actually a full TikTok day, which normally we have a week. Normally we have a week for that. But we can get so many. We needed to add an extra one because we have such a huge thing coming up. Got a lot to film. Got a lot to do. And then Thursday we have another shoot. Um, and I don't think we're doing any, we kind of avoid meeting about stuff on Thursday as much as possible. Cause Thursday it's yeah. like kind little, of brain dead. your yeah. brain is gone. It's like, we're here to shoot and check out. We've had a few times where we had to like meet about stuff on Thursday. It's, it's so hard. Good. It takes like four times as long. Oh my gosh. It's so hard. So meeting on Mondays is, is when, really good. Like if we discuss the same thing on a Monday or Thursday on Thursday, we'll be like, uh, <laughs> like it'll be so hard then on monday we'll be like oh boom 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 done i think it's yeah. because shoot days i don't know if you guys agree with this i feel like shoot days take it out of you yes there's something about like you have yes. to be on yeah preparing for a like, shoot uh, and then like the actual shoot itself of like being on camera being tiring. on camera and like being engaged and like mm-hmm. putting your energy out the whole time it feels like you're just like Give, 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 give. And then you're like, okay, I have nothing left. Like, yeah. I'm dead. And, and then you do that again. And then the next day, and then you're like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> like, I have nothing yeah. left. It's like the creative energy. Because you're you're creating your performance. And you're trying to, like, do d- things differently. Or change something. Or make it good. Or try a different angle or something. And it's just, like, it's a lot of creative energy. And we didn't mention Fridays. Because we don't work. Well, we don't work as a group Officially. on Fridays. Yeah, we don't work as a group on Fridays. I still like to record every Friday I possibly can because I get a lot done. If I get a solid three to four hours of recording it on Fridays, it really sets me up. Sometimes on Saturdays, too, I record now. There's just a lot. Since Lisa's not working and we're doing so many things, I record all the time, constantly. So Friday, I love to record, but I won't really do anything else on Fridays. I would just record. Mm -hmm. But we don't do any group stuff basically ever on friday yeah right unless it's like oh randomly oh we gotta do this thing like okay but generally yeah, now it's very very not normal sorry my brain went oh i'm guessing you guys don't do any administrative stuff on fridays <coughs> I I, it ain't me. that ain't the right occasionally day. if Actually, there's something i it's like time sensitive i didn't do earlier in the week i'll do it on a friday while the twins are napping fridays are when i administer my life so i do do i do often do administrative tasks on Fridays. I just like get everything together. Oh, I love Fridays. I don't know. Fridays and Saturdays my favorite day of the week. <laughs> love it. Okay, so <laughs> a TikTok week. What would that look like? Not that different from I what like I just said. I think we haven't had um, a full TikTok week yet. I think we did. People keep getting shuffled around because things keep getting like sick yeah. and such, too much such. Things keep getting sick? I meant people, dang it. I meant things keep getting shuffled around and people keep getting sick. That's true, because we can't do a full TikTok week if it's just three of us, because yeah. then we'll shoot like 10,000 to 15 TikToks in a with day. three people. We try not to do a ton with only like three of us in them. Yeah. So yeah, you're right. We did have to reschedule our TikTok week. This will be our first TikTok week we do a full Yay, week Yay, and I can get Sony approved. Oh, it's just. So what we're going to do is literally just shoot slash plan TikToks three full days. Mm, That's all we're going to do. Yeah, and edit them. And improve them. We're going to be watching. Editing. Shooting. Shooting. Planning. Sitting there copy and pasting text. But Monday, we'll still have our meeting. meeting, Yeah. And I'll still be recording every morning. That's my, my routine. Original music. This is those the, are so fun. I feel like I actually. love them. We just started. Okay, so we started doing this this year because I looked. Okay, so at the end of this year, last year to twenty twenty two, I was looking at my goals in my bathroom on the floor because Barrett ripped them off the wall, <laughs> and it said original music being like our main thing, and I was like, I did not spend very much on that goal from being my number one career goal of 2022. Mm. Um, Plenty of weeks went by and sometimes months went by where Mm. I barely spent any 
energy at all, any time at all on original music. And us as a group spent like none. So what I realized going into 2023 was if that's our biggest goal, like making original music one of our biggest things, which that's our goal, in case we didn't say that. I don't think we said that before. I don't think we have. That's our goal is shifting more to original music being our main thing than um, anything else that we do. So we're working on that and we're doing... Yeah, we're. I would say we're doing really well with that. Um, I agree. It's all behind the scenes stuff, so you guys don't see any of it yet. But <laughs> we've been doing some great work this we're year. We're definitely putting the time in for sure. Which, yeah. So that's what I'm saying is, I realized if that's our biggest goal, especially in 2023, we're gonna have to put a lot more into it, um, and we need to put something into it every week. And what I realized was, we need to have a full week every month dedicated to it where we're working together as a group we had gotten so um individual with yeah. original music because it was easier to just be like okay i wrote this thing let me send it to the group okay lauren you take it you go work on it lisa work on it guys send me stuff everyone emails me lyrics whatever and then we're just working individually and then we didn't realize the power of working together it's so powerful yeah we have really like I don't know, really good collaborative energy. Mm -hmm. I just saw something about that in this book I was reading. She was saying like, you know, if you just like create in a vacuum and she was saying like, oh, you only work with yourself basically. Oh, and I'm like, yeah, it, it is like, it can be a cool thing. You know, maybe you're Picasso or something. I don't know. But like, also it can be really cool to like, because I'm saying, I feel like he probably just worked on his own. I don't yeah, know that he really collabed, know. maybe, maybe. He, I, <laughs> no. I don't know the most. Actually, I should, I don't think Van Gogh did. I did read Van Gogh's biography. But anyway, um, I feel like there's something about creating together where like, mm -hmm. like one, like one of our recent songs, like I brought it to the group and like everyone had so many great ideas and things. And it definitely turned out way better than it would have been if I did it by myself. Like, there's just something about the magic of the group dynamic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're saying, like, we have a really good, like, collaborative group energy, basically. Mm. And I would say, yes, we do. And B, we really, like, earned that, especially through, like, our experience in L.A. Because if you remember when we used to gather together in the office and try to write together, in the beginning, it was really hard to be like, Hey guys, here's my idea. Oh yeah. yeah. It's so yeah. hard to say your idea out loud because you don't want it to be stupid and you don't want someone to like shoot it down. And then, and then if someone's like, Oh, I don't, I don't really think that's the right line for this in the beginning, that used to be so offensive. Yeah. I'd be yeah. like, I don't want to say anything. Cause I don't want anyone to tell me it's the wrong line because then I'm so offended. But now we can all say, ah, uh, that's not really it for this. Or like, okay, yeah, something like that. We're close. Like we're really good at that. <laughs> And none of us is like, oh, well, I don't want to say any more ideas because that really hurt my feelings. It doesn't really hurt our yeah. feelings anymore. Mm -hmm. We can all throw anything out there and be really comfortable with it. And no yeah. one says like, well, that's stupid. Sometimes mm -hmm. we do crack up at something, but no one takes it the wrong way, I would say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When that happens. Right? Yeah. Sometimes some people will read people's lyrics in a newscaster voice. <laughs> <laughs> an interesting experience but it's fun, it lightens the mood no yeah. i do agree it does you just, you're trying to, like, you just read my thing then you're like bright eyed because <laughs> like, yeah. sometimes you just can't no help sometimes it. it's a little sentimental if you're trying to like uh slam poetry our lyrics that would be weird oh my gosh we should do a slam poetry night that'd be fun <laughs> um, you're the only is, one that no, I'm saying. It. No, you I, guys, I, I read you. Yours. Yours. No, you yeah. guys all write your own. It'll be Ooh, so fun. Okay. And you recite them, and it's just like more of a fun thing. That'd be funny. But it would be. <laughs> I, I can do it. I can do it. You totally I can. Have no we could all do that. Clue if I, I, guys, the funnier and more weird, the better. Come on. We have to just improv it. Yes, I was gonna say we have to improv it. <laughs> if you want to, or you could write it. That would way. be quite the challenge. Wait, yeah. that'd be a funny TikTok. Guys, let's that'd do be it. a really slam funny poetry. TikTok. Yes. We did a slam poetry night with our sisters, <laughs> oh, but we had to improv it. No. Wait, that could be we really funny TikTok. With like a charade thing where it's like you pull the, the co topic out of a book. Oh, Guys, yeah. Lisa did that when she was a kid. She was like, you think you're so cool. You think What's you're that? so hot. Your original composition? I don't know. But I but remember I Lisa know. doing that when we were kids. Wait, has Lisa ever recited? Didn't she recite I'm pretty that sure she before? did. Yes. Because that I is have no so clue, but funny. it was a great one. <laughs> Good times. Anyway, we have great clubs. Yeah. <laughs> we do. We do. In the studio. Our last one, um, not our last, our last big project that we actually finished, we did with Lisa. 
which was cool. She was actually there oh, with yeah, us. She yeah, she was. In, was that February? Uh, January, February. Whatever it Who was. Who could know? So anyway, she worked on this it. This so year has blurred together very, very much. I think I think something, too, that's really cool about our collaboration in original music is, like, we're all very different. And everyone mm-hmm. has a different perspective on, like, oh, I think this phrasing or this, like, arrangement of, like, this order of things. And it's just – I think it's interesting to hear, like – because something – that's always my fear as an artist is, like, oh, this makes sense in my head, but, like, does it make sense to other people? So I think it's a huge strength to have, like, five very different brains – coming in on the same project and being yeah. like, well, actually, I think this. Oh, I didn't see it that way. It's interesting. Yeah, it is hard to know, like, what to go with on things oftentimes. Like, we've learned that we have different strengths with things like that. Like, who are we saying? Was it Catherine? We were saying she has, like, the ear of the of your average listener? Were we saying that of you? Why do we say that of you when you have all those obscure well, I don't things? remember that. <laughs> or was no, you had something like that. Oh, was it the um that I come up with interesting background vocals or something? That's another thing. <laughs> or, I don't know. <laughs> That's another thing. That's another thing we discovered recently in yeah. our in one of our um recent original music weeks. We did a bunch of recording like gang vocals together and writing stuff together on the spot, which we never do. That was so fun. And I it turned out it. that was really so fun. Good. It it's turned really good. out it's really so, cool. So cool. That was awesome. So we like wrote a whole song, recorded gang vocals, um, some harmonies and all this different stuff together in a week, which before we would have all done we would have done all that like just individually. Um, just alone. Wow, gang vocals are not meant to be recorded alone. That yeah, in know. a group. Lisa yeah. doing ten different voices for the gang. Guys, vocals. we have so much fun with the gang vocals. <laughs> Lisa was saying she did it in different accents, and yeah. we did that, and it worked. And we tried it. We tried to do a British because it makes it feel more full, <laughs> and it yeah. does. It sounds like a group of very diverse people. Like we sounded so <laughs> dumb I doing can't. it. It was so we were, like, funny trying to sound like men, and then we we're going like really high. Like <laughs> we definitely did a lot of range. It was good. So in those categories, I mentioned TikTok. Original music and then shooting YouTube or podcast. I'll tell you like what it looks like from start to finish. It's only a few steps, but basically YouTube video or podcast. We're like, okay, we need to come up with what's the video going to be or what's the podcast going to be? Like, what's the theme? What's the title? What is it going to be? We think we try to think of a title that could be interesting or just think of a video that'd be interesting, whatever. And then we write down um, any details about it that need to be written down in our shared note or in my own very personal my very own personal note in my phone and then we plan the day we're like hey it's gonna be this day this time text video audio person whoever we have to text figure out who's shooting it what we're doing blah 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 set that up schedule it and then the day of what what do we do we We shoot shoot the video we make sure we have a thumbnail yeah. For it. We shoot a Instagram story telling you to watch the video. We do anything else? Is that it? Oh, we take some selfies for Instagram stories. And that's it for the shoots, right? Well, but yeah. then also a cover is obviously very different than that. Because a cover, we have a whole song cover that we're doing too. We pick the song well in advance. We make the song. So who normally do you guys switch off with production? Who does no, who normally? Yeah, I, I mean lately know. Christina's yeah. been doing a lot of it because I was working been. on Lauren's been the other song. Like Lauren will be like mixing or something in like something that takes a lot of time for an original <laughs> song. She'll be like, yeah, uh, Lauren's more like the finisher, right? I'm yes. such a starter, but Lauren starts yes. all things too. But I love to start things. Lauren, I'm like, okay, now here you go, you finish. Yes, hmm. I love when she finishes and I not to finish it. It's great. <laughs> It's great for me. So you start the track, you finish it? It depends. Sometimes okay. Lauren does the whole thing, sometimes I do most of it, but Lauren always finishes. Yeah, I always do the mixing, which people don't know what that is. So let me just tell you something really quick. Basically, when people are like, auto-tune, <laughs> or echo, or like Reverb. effects, whatever, it's like, that's what like that's what I do. I put the effects <laughs> on it. That's what I do. I make it go from just like, a recording to 
music to your ears. Oh, I love okay? it. And I like put the volume levels like, oh, this should be louder. This should be quieter. Oh, this instrument. Like go through all the instruments, set all the volumes right, put all the effects on. And then, uh, I don't know how to explain it. There's like um, frequencies in sound like higher and lower and i had to go through and go with all these frequencies and when i do all these little tiny details for hours and hours and i listen for a hundred years then it sounds good to you well and literally like (laughs) you'll do like the i know whoever does that but like the harmony in different ears yeah so if you're listening in headphones like you might have one harmony on this side and another on the other side people don't even know that there's a lot of tiny tiny details that make it really crisp that if it's they didn't do, cool. you would know. I should. We should do something like on TikTok or something. Where I show yeah, like show it. here is this with no that mixing, would be so cool. and then here is it mixed. Yes, Ooh, that would be really cool. That's cool. cool. So, so wait, we get with the, the track, cover. We pick the song. We go. Okay, we're gonna cover Golden Hour. And then I'm like, ooh, I have an idea. I want to do some experimenting. So I, if I'm doing that, is that what you do? You're like, I want to experiment with what kind of sound I want to do for it and try sure. different styles. <laughs> I'll be like, okay, I think I'm going to do like a guitar thing. I'll try that yeah. and see if it sounds good or bad. Try, sometimes I try a bunch of different styles. I'm like, this is the style. Then I play it for you guys and be yeah, like. Yeah, she'll make like a demo what of it where she just sings and it's just like, what do we think in this direction? Then we have to split it up. Oftentimes we do it together. Like, ooh, let's hear you on this part and you on this part. What's a strong range for you? Yeah, we'll go through piece by piece and multiple people will sing it. And we're like, oh, this feels really good for my voice. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how we like pick. I feel like people ask that all the time. How do you choose the solos? We pretty much just sing it and we're like, oh, I like this one. This one sounds good for me. Then Mm -hmm. everyone sends me their leads and I write all the harms. And then I write like Amy harm track, Lauren harm track, Kath harm guide track. And I make the project so that they can all record in it. Then I send, then I pick who's going to sing. I go through the whole thing. I clean it up so Lauren doesn't have a heart attack. Because oh I gosh. record really, really messy. I'm like, oh, I just move really fast. I feel like my brain's moving so sp- fast. I have to just like get it out while I can. Mm. And then it's Relatable. a giant mess. So my project, my recording project, is a giant mess. So then I clean it up so Lauren doesn't have a heart attack. And then I go through every single part and I go, which part should Amy sing? Which, because sometimes there's like two low parts. So I have to pick which one Amy's doing. Two middle parts. I often do too high, too middle, too low a lot of times. That's like the most I would do normally. Mm-hmm. Right? Or in like maybe a reverb situation of a couple parts. <sighs> Love a reverb. So I'm like, okay, who's going to do, which high one is Lauren doing of these two? Which medium one is middle Kat one is Kat doing. doing, which low one is Amy doing. And then I have to put all those ones in every single section on each specific place they're doing it. Make sure everything else I did. So I record high, medium, and low normally. <laughs> and then I have each one of them on a high, medium, and a low. So it's kind of cool. And then I said to them, they all do it. Then the great thing, they don't send it to me. They send it to Lauren. <laughs> And then Lauren, <laughs> Lauren, she has to go through it. <laughs> hey, Amaya and I will say are pretty clean, usually. Usually. Right? What about well, me? Wait, how clean are mine? I yeah, yours I... are good. Okay. Well, usually, no, yeah, yours are good. Sometimes I feel like you black out when you record, and then I play it back yeah. for you. I'm like, what happened? And you're like, I, I don't, don't remember know. that. <laughs> like, mm. But yeah. for the most part, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Part. I've only had to redo like a few, few, few things. Yeah, but m- mostly, yeah. That's yeah, good. harmonies so, are yeah. better for me than solos for some reason. Like, I never have to re record them because I'm like, I try very hard to match them exactly. Yeah. So that's kind of that process, right? That yeah. Kind of yeah. And I take all that and make it sound good. Yeah. So as you can tell, it's quite the process. Well, and then we get. After the track is completed, we have to get together and make sure we practice through the song mm-hmm. like multiple times. Make sure that everyone has their solo and then everyone's singing the right harmony, that all the harmonies are covered. Oh, yeah. Because someone might be singing multiple that. harmonies in one spot because we're just filling it out. It's really like, annoying. okay, which one am I going to do in this part to make sure that you don't hear new and then no one's singing it <gasps> in the video. video yeah. Oh, yeah, that's another process. So many processes. Then we shoot it and then we send it to our editor. Right. Yes. And then I watch it at a random hour of the day. Normally after we've gotten home from work and I don't want to watch anything and, or in the morning, and I also don't want to watch things. So I'm like, mm. but I have to watch it because I don't want to do it in the middle of the day because it's taking up our time doing other stuff. So then I'm sitting there and I'm like, have my air potted and I'm watching it. And I'm also like trying to do something else where mm. I put it on TV and Barrett's like, I want to watch garbage. 
damage tracks. Her parents. <laughs> we are watching this right now. <laughs> so we watch it on TV sometimes. But yeah, then I watch it. Then I send notes. Then I watch it again. Then I send notes. And then I sometimes watch it again. And hopefully don't send any notes. Mm, we watch it sometimes. And today we watch it as a group. Yeah. It was and cute. I still didn't send notes. So I need to do that. Because we had to come shoot this. Yes. Because my babysitter bailed. It was a long story. So Long, long story. Long story. So that's what happened. Um, there's not really much to go into the other things. It's like TikTok, have an idea. Sometimes we pre-record the TikTok. Sometimes we just figure it out and practice it, and then we shoot yeah, it. Yeah, and then we edit it. And then yeah. I follow and then, text, and then TikTok yeah. Not that dramatic. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You know how it works. So anyway, that's that. If you have any other questions about it, I'm curious to know what they are. Um, yeah. We could do an episode. We could do the, yeah, a whole episode more in like our songwriting process and yeah. that, or like other things. Whatever is interesting. Yeah. I'm curious what was most interesting to you guys because to me this is not that interesting because it's, uh, it's just our life. So I'm curious what ex- what actually was interesting to you. Would love to know. Let us know if you want to know more in depth on any of those things. Let's move on to our five perspectives. It's basically a uh, not really a poll, kind of a poll. Love a poll. It's, it's kind, of, kind a of a poll. Would you say this is a poll? How messy is your laptop desktop if I give options? Sure. Yeah, if you give options, it's a poll. <laughs> okay. How messy is your laptop desktop? A, immaculate. B, not too bad, but not perfect. C, pretty messy. Or D, absolute Damn. catastrophe. That's my answer. D? It's like... Like each like icon, there's like four stacks. <laughs> Somehow oh I did God. something in the universe. I don't know what happened, but my computer sorts everything on the desktop or condenses it all into dates. I don't know how I did it. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what that. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, so, like it'll be like last two weeks, and then you go down, and it's oh, everything that's, that's on the cool. left. The thing from the last two weeks i don't know how it so happened you, i don't know what i did which one are you mine is um well first of all i don't really use my computer for other than watching tv and recording so there isn't a lot to go on the desktop but they're all in folders and there's like maybe 10 15 folders but the folders are not super organized on the inside but it's like random desktop pictures that's literally one of my big folders random mm-hmm. videos random music mm-hmm. stems. so b yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it's not organized on the inside, but on the outside. You? What? Mm. Like, the Yikes. folders aren't inside, aren't very organized inside, but on the outside, everything's in a folder. Okay. Mine is in between B and C. Half of my screen is a bunch of folders that are organized. The other half is random. I have to tell you, I don't know how this even happened. I am oh, the no. worst person with technology. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I make a lot of grocery lists on Attitude. my laptop like i because i do my grocery order like i enter it in Mm -hmm. and i make a list on my notes app just to like make sure i get everything (laughs) somehow i took one of my grocery list guys i don't know how this happened and i put it onto my desktop but it went item by item so i'll randomly find these (laughs) notes on there that'll say butter (laughs) it literally it's you you just click on it and you open it (laughs) it's a text box that says butter and i just found on the other day it said milk (laughs) I don't know what happened. I don't even know how that's possible, but my I don't didn't. know either. <laughs> that just made me, I almost fell backwards, but I caught myself. <laughs> I think I told you guys that in the middle of our Zoom meeting. I was like, guys, I have a note that says butter. <laughs> yes, I didn't. I was like, why? Yeah, yeah. I forgot. Now I, I get it. It's it's really really funny. Funny. <laughs> now I get it. Wow. Oh, wild times. That's funny. I just know that because I found another one. I was like, oh, it's a list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so funny. Uh, mine is B. Um, it's not perfect, but it's pretty dang good. And the inside of my folders is great. Wow, okay. this is great. like our, um, the organization it quiz. Is. Mine's a butterfly. Oh, yeah. It's all See, there. We wanted to explain, explain though, yeah. why. Because I was trying to think of why I do this. And the reason why is because every time I bounce anything, I bounce it to desktop. Okay. Yep. Mm, and I bounce like 100 songs in like yeah. one week same. last week. So they're all there. I'm going to move them so it mm-hmm. won't be all stacked on top of each other. But 
for some reason, I have to bounce everything to desktop. Same. If I do it to a <clears throat> folder, it just annoys me. So that's why it's like that. You should just have a folder on your desktop called bounces and you bounce them all no, to the bounce I, folder. No, I do have that, but I don't like to use it for some reason because I think oh, it is the thing where I'm like, name, I need to see it. Name it desktop. Then you're bouncing to desktop. Yeah. Trick. Maybe. Lauren Maybe. and I have the same, <laughs> Lauren and I got the same result on our the <laughs> organizational quiz idea. we took, which we talked about in the last episode. And it's, we like to have all of our items displayed because we don't want to forget where they are. Mm-hmm. And it's you so true. You don't like the minute categories no. of organization. Oh, we like yeah. big, broad categories. I, like I have a folder that's just music and it's everything that I bounce to my desktop. <laughs> I just put in the music folder. That's it. I have a stems <laughs> folder and I have a random music folder. That's what What's, mine is. What category were you of organization? We I talked- was the one that wants nothing to be seen and oh, everything to be macro. thrown away, but it doesn't need to be micro organized. Okay, I was going to oh, say, yes. your folder that you just described sounded like that because is, you didn't want to see it, but you didn't organize it in detail I'm like, inside. okay, I know all these pictures are, every picture that's on my desktop, which is not that many, is in this folder. All oh the videos my that, my, that are on my desktop are going to be in this folder. Like, I don't need to go through them. I just watch TV. <laughs> Do you know what 90% of my folders are? You get it. They're folders of pictures of people for photo gifts. Pictures of <laughs> Literally, music. like, I have a whole album called pictures for my father-in-law because he made, like, a Father's Day gift. And then I have, like, an album for my mom, an album for my dad. Like, I just Do you do... have a folder for folders of... Or photo gifts because you should do that and then put yeah. all of them in there. No, photo no, gifts. no, because that's too hidden to me. Oh. I like to see the different categories out on display. I Absolutely don't, not. I don't want one folder. I want a bunch of folders. Yeah, I need a bunch of baskets. Um, Mine, I like <laughs> that's to have my literal. Like, we should mention that we're talking about in the last episode when right before this we talked about it's the spring cleaning like categories of our lives episode. We talked about organizational styles. Yes, yes. it's life changing. Oh, you said it was from the last one. Well, I said yeah, I briefly mentioned it. It's oh, oh, yeah. Just, yeah. it's in the I last one. Yeah, it's in the last episode. If you we want to know a little more into depth, we're talking about mine. Yeah. Is the I'm the only one in here that cares about minute. So wait, are you? But are you ever out? Is a such a trick because you're the one in the recording projects that's so messy, <laughs> and I'm so like precise. <laughs> wait, which wait <laughs> what, what wait you like your stuff hidden away? <laughs> Um, or do you like, or do you like your stuff no. displayed? Visual, but in micro small, categories. Yeah, micro categories. Okay. okay. And then Lisa is away in micro categories. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you guys are out of... in macro, and I'm in in macro. I get it. Uh, I just need all the baskets. <laughs> That's what I've realized. Yeah. Yes, hook, hook, hook. I love hooks. Oh, I love it. <laughs> hooks and baskets. That's all I need. Yes. I'm just like, no, it. same. Shove same. it. Shove it. If I can't see it. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, see, that ain't. Like, throw it in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it in the bag. Oh. Okay. I love a catch all. Let's move on yes, to so yes. <laughs> oh yes. yes. I just want them to be um, organized within it. No, I want like no. Um, dividers. No, that's in why it. it's a catch all. So yeah. I'm like a catch. I'm a catch. She is like red hats, blue. No, hats. you guys are catch all. I'm catch all and divide it. Mm. And Amy's catch all in your closet. Yeah, yes. honestly, <laughs> it's probably better to divide because I have a hard time finding sometimes but yeah, uh, yeah. And I'm a catch all with device I have a random giant drawer of like things I may need at some point <laughs> yes. that's helpful that's like my nightstand is like <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All of my cords and technology is in one drawer in my dresser. Hey, that's yeah. a, that to me, that's a uh, great uh, category. And I it's love it. Not micro yeah. organized in any way. It's just technology. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Growing up, we had a junk drawer, and I swore to myself as a child. I said, "I will never, ever have a junk drawer," and I don't have a junk drawer. Oh, I have wow. To tell you. <laughs> we have a junk drawer. It stressed me out. I'm like, you can't just have a place for junk. You have yes, to have a place where can. something goes. We love a junk drawer. <laughs> no, you have to figure out what your junk is and then just no. make a place for that. Like if it's, no. if it's all technology, no, you, you need a junk drawer if you have a husband who thinks you need to keep every manual from every appliance you've <laughs> No, that's bought. called you that's need a manual, manual drawer. drawer. Yes, that's, that's called a manual drawer. Like, why do we need all these manuals? We're never going to look at them. You can't Google it. That's what I'm saying. I was just like, let's throw it away I'm the person Person who says keep the manual. You need to put them no. in a box in your garage. That's what you I'm need like, to I do. will Google it. Okay, <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. I feel like the the organization talk is pretty pretty rousing. It is. <laughs> it's fun well, to talk about. Uh, you know what my dream of life is a house with a trillion and a half closets. That's my dream of living. See, I don't want that because I'm like, then I'm just going to buy all this stuff. I need oh, to be a minimalist. I hate it when people do okay, exposed can- um. Shelving? I love it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It makes me feel so uncomfortable. I put that No, you put a plant. You put a plant. 
No, <laughs> that's like my dream. That's my I dream. You love got fluff Same. for that. Okay, put it away. We don't it's need it. It's not fluff. It's beauty. No. Okay, okay. Move on. Move on. It move draws on. the eye. Sister spotlight. <laughs> well, let's move on. A different sister gets the spotlight on we her each week. We should do an episode week. on organizational styles next. We could talk for you. We could do that. Tell us if you guys think that's boring or great. I think it's great. We could go through how we organize our like stuff. That would be yeah. fun. I would love to talk about that. Okay, sister spotlight. We have get real, Christina. Sappy or sassy thoughts with Kath. Lisa's current, Lisa's current crisis. Lisa's corner. Amy's current crisis at Lauren's day. The sister this week is. Dating. Oh, it's Lauren's I'm gonna take. It. This is a show Lauren's. where Catherine asks Lauren your questions from our Patreon, and she gives Ooh. her take. All right. This first com- question comes from Lee, but also me because I want to know too. What are your summer plans? Ooh, I love it. I love hearing about um, people's summer plans. Do people have, really plan for summer? Yes. 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 I have April. a lot of plans, actually. I can't wait because, oh because I, I have I long. Sorry. am trying to have a fun summer instead of just Ooh. sitting in my house all day, which I do every summer. I'm like, oh, I never get a tan because I don't leave my house. Okay, so I have a couple concerts I'm going to, which I'm excited about, and see Big Time Rush. <gasps> I think I'm going to see Five what? Seconds of Summer. Oh. Um, I'm going to go to the lake. I'm trying to go oh. at least once a month, okay? Oh, because it. every summer I go, like, literally once the whole summer. So I'm like, let's shoot for once a month. That'll be fun. Yeah, because you um, feel like you've really been there. I have a lot of plans, but main ones is oh and i'm planning a lake slash beach trip with my girls so oh, i love it that'll be wow. so fun yeah i love a girl i want to do a girl's trip okay what is a song is from nimsha what is a song that tends to make you happy that's actually a good question tends to make me happy i have a playlist that's like positive Positivity, no, positive attitude oh, that I put Ooh. on the whole playlist and then it puts me in a positive Is there attitude. any particular song that you think of? Or? Um, the first thing I'm thinking of is a song Just Like Fire by just Pink. Like- I'm like, oh, yeah. I love Pink. No one can be just like me anyway. Oh, Did you see she has wow. her um, her concert documentary <laughs> wow. on Amazon? I really want to watch it. I should watch it. Oh, I loved her show. Love you saw her live. So. But yeah, it just has like a lot of positive songs on it. But that's the only one I can think I of right it. now. Okay, this is from Vivian. Love your name, by the way. Viv. Oh, no. I know what it is. It's Victory by Sound Remedy. It's like kind of EDM. Oh, oh, you I that's that the little boys used to listen to. Oh, that song that always song. makes me what? happy. I I'm never heard. Like, oh, I yeah. love that one. No, that you'll one. know it, Christina. You'll know it. Yeah. Okay. This is from Vivian. I love your name. What do you admire most about your parents? <laughs> what? That's so funny. Um, it's really putting me on the spot here. Yeah. What do I admire most? Uh, I think probably the um, tenacity that they both have. Like they have the audacity, like the perseverance and like the grit that they both had to like raise a hundred children. Mm. And, like, just keep Mm. moving forward. Mm -hmm. I think I I would say that. Like, you know, they didn't just throw in the towel. They always, like, keep going, keep trying in hard times. That's a good point. Okay, Megan says, what is your favorite snack to make whenever you're hungry right before bed? I don't really get hungry right before bed. I was probably already eating. But I would say some form of cheese. Oh, Oh. yeah. Crackers. What? Cheese and crackers. Oh, my gosh. You are are your father's daughter. Yes. Our daddy used to always do that. I have his snack jeans. Wait, what kind of cheese and what kind of crackers? It's like cheese and crackers. Brie cheese with like a water whatever. Okay. Or like Mm. cheddar cheese and pretzels. That's a good one. Okay, that's or a good like or add some salami in the mix, like char- charcuterie board Ooh. type okay. of cheese and cracker salami. vibes, and adding Not hot honey ones. onto it. You oh, like hot, hot honey. honey? I am yes, shocked. Hot honey is so I good. like spicy stuff now. Wow. I don't know what happened. Oh, oh my god! Maybe it was, was wow. it was Ariel. She put me on a <gasps> sriracha. Oh, and oh then, my god! I still have to actually try sriracha. Wow. I've never fully it's tried good it. Good in ramen. Mm. Okay, okay, I gotta try it. All right, this is last one. This is from multiple people, so I'll just say Nicole, Lee, other people. They want to know, how was Coachella? Wow. Um, Talk of the town. It was good. It was Hmm. more fun um, at night than it was in the daytime when we were just sitting 
<laughs> in the hot heat. Yeah, what do you do afternoon. in the day? You just we just chill? sat and sat and just chilled. Okay, but nice. it was good once it like cooled down and then we were actually like watched people perform. So we didn't even watch anyone until like four p.m. Mm. Oh. So it was fun. Um, I'm not really a festival girly. Um, it's a bit much for my soul. So we only went for one day, which was nice. Enough. I could not have gone for a whole weekend, but it was fun. Like I would do it again, but it sounds in wild. a while. I don't think I would survive because <laughs> of the. Dust. I think you would. It wasn't the- that dusty though. Everyone's like, "You'll die of dust." I, I, I wasn't. Yeah. I thought of dust. I was like, "How's the dust?" When Lauren was there, I I'm thought so allergic. Which maybe covering. it was another day. It was more windy or something. I don't know. But mm-hmm. this day. It was pretty good. good. Okay. It sounds like it would be so, fun. All yeah. right. If you want to be a part of Lauren's take and um, submit the questions, you got to be a patron. You want to join below in the link in our description. Page, oh, sorry, patron. Blah, 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 blah. Patreon.com slash Simrelli. That's where you go. Yeah, you know, it's a long day. You get and it. Um, if you want to get all our full episodes, you got to be a patron. So we got every full episode is there join and you can watch all the past ones well we'll see you guys in the next episode thanks for watching bye Bye. you've been listening to the Cimarelli podcast follow Cimarelli on Spotify and subscribe on YouTube you can also find Cimarelli on Facebook and Instagram